Hello and welcome back. So today we have a very interesting topic and the question is should one marry the person they love or marry the person who loves them? So should a man marry the woman he loves or marry the woman who loves him and vice versa? Should a woman marry the man she loves or the man who loves her? So if you break it down in summary simply asking is it better to love or to be loved? And this is an interesting point and it's important that you think about it because we can debate both sides all day. Each side has a good supporting argument. For example, the argument in support of marrying the one you love is that you can control your own love. So it's best to bank on something you have control over, which is your love. So you can say, well, I'm certain I love this person, so I'm going to risk on my own love. That is something I can control other than risking on another person's love, which I can't control. Why the argument for marrying the person who loves you is that you already have the guarantee that this person loves you. So before you're risking your own love, you already have that assurance. That, okay, this person loves me so I can go in risk king to also love them so i marry them but then what does the scriptures teach and what do you choose do you prefer to love or to be loved well looking at scriptures for us to actually answer this question is important we define certain things because in the context of this question here when we talk of you marrying someone you love or someone who loves you you are definitely talking about emotions right we're talking about how you feel towards that person so in the context of an arranged marriage will you marry someone that you have never met which just imposed on you or will you marry someone that you have a physical attraction for or someone who has a physical attraction towards you so it's important that we define and remember that that is the love the type of love in question so then what is the answer from the scriptures well this is a bit shocking but i'm going to tell you it nowhere in scriptures are we told whether as a man or as a woman to marry the person you love check it all true scriptures the only instruction we get as far as concerning marriage is that you should love the person you married as far as looking for the person to marry is there is no incentive of whether you should love them or not this is critical because god understood first one the context of the time arranged marriages and two the context of salvation that many people will come to christ already in some form of marriage so would you now say my spouse doesn't believe in god they are a sinner so i'm going to leave them i don't love them i'm going to go and marry someone i love wrong you're supposed to love the person you're married to and this is also why it cancels a whole ton of the divorce excuses or explanations people give i just don't love him anymore or i just don't love her anymore so we are going to separate so that i can find someone i love and marry them that is wrong that's not what the scriptures teach you're not supposed to marry someone you love you're supposed to love the one you're married to how you got married to them is not very important to god and the reason is that when we look at scriptures in ephesians 5 verse 22 down to 25 and if you even go right down to 33 you understand god's principles for making marriage work and the principle for men god says husbands love your wives it's not your fiance your girlfriend husband love your wife and the women wives submit to your husband that principle will make every marriage work irrespective of the parties that are involved whether the marriage was a love marriage was it an arranged marriage was it a by mistake marriage whether you were drunk and then you woke up and found yourself married none of that matters that is a key that makes marriage work why because that is the key that made god's relationship through christ jesus and the church work as you see in the scripture so christ loved the church and then the church submits to the love of christ and that's the perfect union i know that's a little bit difficult to swallow but if you have the scriptures if you have a scripture that tells us you should marry the person you love in other words the person you are attracted to or you have feelings for or you like or you fantasize about and all of those things then drop that scripture below and i'll be happy to read that but i can't find that in the bible and the only thing i find is love the person you're married to so going back to our question and bearing in mind this truth from the scriptures should you marry the person you love or marry the person who loves you first off in light of god's word that we have just understood the question in and of itself is invalid because it doesn't really matter whether you're marrying the person you're attracted to or marrying the person who is attracted to you if you respect god's principle the marriage is going to work but if we take a shot at that question then looking at ephesians 5 verse 22 to 25 then the answers will be different for men and women since men are called to love their wives then we're going to say it's best for the man to marry the woman he loves because that is his ministry to love and for the woman she is called to receive love to submit and receive love therefore it's in her best interest to marry the man who loves her and not the man she loves 
So there we go. Who should love more in a marriage relationship? The husband. He is the one called to love. As a matter of fact, when we look at scriptures, the woman is not even called to love. She's called to submit, to receive love. Submission simply means allowing yourself to be loved. As a church, we submit to Christ by allowing ourselves to be loved by Christ. And how does Christ love us? We saw in that scriptures in Ephesians, he washes us, he cleanses us, he takes care of us, he provides for us, he protects us. And that's what the husband is called to do for the wife. So that is it. Do you agree or do you disagree or do you perhaps have a scripture that tells us to marry the person we love? Then drop that below. I'll be happy to read that. So in conclusion, if you're in a difficult marriage, don't think maybe I'm in a difficult marriage because I didn't marry the person I love. This is not the woman I always wanted to marry. I just married her because they put me pressure and I had no one else. Wrong answer. As a matter of fact, wrong question. You're not called to marry the person you love. You're called to love the person you marry. So if the marriage is difficult, it's simple. God's foundational principles of husbands love your wife as christ loved the church and wives submit to your husband as the church submits to christ is not being respected so that's our time for this video if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button turn on that bell if you're new to this channel so you don't miss our next video a big shout out to our patrons we couldn't have done these videos without them thank you so much you too can do the same the link is down below i am buddha's jumeci from wisdom for dominion thank you again for watching and i'll be seeing you in the next video.